These are my two mirrorless digital cameras, the Canon EOS R and the Sony ZV-E10. And I really want to learn how to use these two cameras to make professional looking videos. Seeing as how I'm new to cameras in general, this could be a long process. Therefore, I feel it's best if I document myself learning all the tricks and tips and techniques to make good, high quality videos. Now, these videos could be any range of things from a daily vlog to learning from an online tutorial to even something more cinematic, hopefully. But in every video, I would like to be able to describe the exact techniques that I'm trying to practice in order to create a high quality video that takes me out of the amateur level of filmmaking. At least, this is the plan anyways. So if you would like to watch me stumble and fumble my way through learning how to use digital cameras and possibly give me some tips, then please follow along because I'm going to need some help along the way. So without stalling any longer, let's get into today's first technique. I would say when I think about making a good quality YouTube video or cinematic short film, the most difficult part would appear to be composition. Whether that is actually true or not, I don't know, but it seemed that way. Understanding the nuances of cameras and the settings such as ISO, aperture, shutter speed, etc. Those can be all learned over time. Composition, however, is different. It seems that it requires a lot of outside-the-box thinking and creativity to come up with uniquely composed shots. However, there are a few techniques that almost all filmmakers have in their arsenal when it comes to composition that seem to be pretty basic. And I am going to practice a few of these now. So we got the Canon EOS R here. We're gonna do some, if I was a terrible shot composer and then practice some better shot compositions. I got my camera woman behind the cameras and I got some notes on which shots to do. Now, subject of this composition is gonna be just this piano. This is all I really have. And Can I'm going to do some shots as if I'm an amateur and I don't know what I'm doing. So an amateur would probably just, the amateur would just put it in auto, auto mode and then just point at it. Come closer. Amateur will just go, oh, get it in the full frame. That's all you see. Maybe get down a little bit. Maybe come at an angle. You just go, oh, point and shoot. Oh, point and shoot. Ah, uh, maybe one top view with my leg in it. <laughs> and then, if you're not an amateur, if you're trying to be more professional, you would do some of these shots, like some ground shots, high shots. Oh, point of order here. If you are not using your body. So by the time you do a shoot, if some part of your body isn't sore, you're probably doing it wrong. Because you need to do things like get on the ground. You know, get under. Things like this. And you need to be like, hmm. Going side to side, using your legs so that it's steady. Tucking it in your arms and going, mm, doing crab walks. That's not, don't do a crab walk. But like, place your feet and then move. Getting up high, climbing on stuff. Ooh. Doing things like this. Oh. These are more professional shots. So if you're not sweating, by the time this is over, something's wrong. Start with some ground shots and some high shots. Now, what do I mean by that? <coughs> I'm going to come low. Get on here. And start recording. And I might move up to reveal the keyboard. So you were low. And then you came, okay, and then some high shots, so I will climb on the couch actually, and I will get high, and then I'll come low, 
as much as I can. Okay? This will all make sense when you're editing. Okay. And then I might go close to this side and pull all the way back. I know. <laughs> um, what's the one? Oh yeah, twisting one. So, and you start like this, and as you get closer, you start twisting. <laughs> Maybe do that from the bottom too. So, let's see. <sighs> twisting. Okay, twisting. Oh, some other ones would be you start high, you come low, and then you whip out. Another one, you start high, come low. And with that one. Um, that one sucked. Let me do that one again. Come low. With that one. Same with starting high. Get in the frame. Go with that. And then down. Whip up. <laughs> Zoom shot, wide shot, gimbal shot, and handheld. But I basically did all those. So, there you go. That's a few ways that I know where you can take your composition from. Amateur, just pointing. This is a boring subject. So this is nothing exciting here. But with a little bit of twisting, from what I can tell, people make interesting more videos that way. So that's what I did just here. We all know it's easy to just buy a new camera, whip it out, start pointing it randomly at the subjects or any subject. But when you go back and look at what you filmed, it looks amateur and terrible. Even the best editor in the world would have a hard time making something cool out of it. This is why eventually composition becomes so important for all filmmakers. As you can see in the shots I just did, not a single one of them was just aimlessly pointing the camera at the subject and hoping for good results. There is hopefully a plan behind every shot. Even if you're just putting the camera on the desk and filming yourself like I'm doing now, there's still some thought that has to go into it. Background, lights, shadows, etc. It's still composition. Now, while I all of a sudden didn't just become a master of composition in this short video, all I want everyone out there to know is that this is something that I plan on getting better at over time through making more videos. And this is something that should be thought about no matter how simple a video it is that you want to create. Well, I hope this video was somewhat interesting and slightly informative. As I continue to progress in video making, you can absolutely expect that I will be working to improve my composition over time, or at least trying to. <laughs> Anyways, that'll do for today. I'll see you for the next technique. Lastly, forgot to mention, please enjoy this wonderful montage of well-composed piano shots. Hold me close till I get up, time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't want to waste what's left.